Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. We are just going to be resizing 3D letters. And the reason is because I still get a lot of individual messages on this. So I wanna make sure that um, I was thinking about this in my head. How can I show you guys so that it makes sense? So this one is spelling out the word one, O-N-E, right? So I'm gonna show you how to figure out what's the maximum size and then make sure that all your letters are of the same size too. So the thing is here with all these letters, I bought this file from Etsy. So it's by Melmara Quintella. And I love these letters. They're a little bit different than the ones that are available in Design Space because they're thicker. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you can see, the tabs are really thick. The letters, I mean, I just really like it. There's a lot of space. It's um, The ones in design space are a little bit thinner, so there's less room to design. And then the other thing is, because it's so thick, it's super stable. So you can plop them down. I've seen some YouTubers have to make them steady where they put weights down. You don't need weights on these. These balance really, really well. And so you don't have to worry about it. I mean, unless it's a windy day or something like that. But I would say like, if you're doing indoors, these will stand up. I've yet to see it fall down. I have some that are standing in my art room like every day because it's just the ones that I made for myself. So I like this design. But the thing is, when you make things really thick like that, you are also where you are compromising is that you you can't make them super big. So that's the thing with this file is most of the letters, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna use 12 by 12 cardstock, there is an exception, but if you're gonna use 12 by 12 cardstock, I would say most of your letters are gonna come in about six and a half inches. I think it's six and a half to seven inches is what I've seen, but we'll see right now. Um, so that's just the, that's just what you deal with. But all right, let's get started. So the first thing is when I bring in each letter, they're grouped together like this, right? So what I'm gonna do is um, you want to ungroup it because the tabs are gonna dictate, how the, the tabs are actually the longer pieces. Like if you look at this one, this tab is 9.6, right? I mean, granted it's only two inches high, but it's nine inches long, so that's gonna, that's really gonna change, That that's gonna be the driver of how big we can go, okay? Because this is longer than our letters. Our letters are only nine inches by six, right? And that's including these little indicators. So, um, all right, so what you wanna do is you wanna ungroup it, then you wanna take the tabs and you wanna rotate it. I actually go in and put in up here, I wanna rotate it 90 degrees because then it flips it perfectly and they're perfectly standing as opposed to me trying to twist it. They're, sometimes they come out straight, but they're a little bit tilted. So anyway, that's how I do it. Um, all right, so then let's look at this one. Ungroup it. Oh, this one, the tabs are already standing, so that's good. Um, this one, let's ungroup it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna grab the three tabs and you wanna rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, so here we go. Then the next thing that I wanna do is um, grab each set and go to align and align bottom so that they're all, we know where they are and how tall everything is, right? So in this case, for the O, you can see that our two tabs are of the same size and they are 8.7 inches. This is the tallest thing in this set of O's, okay? So let's look at our ends. Um, let's grab this and align bottom. So in this case, okay, our end tabs are longer than our O tabs. And then let's grab this and align bottom, okay. So let's see, this N is about uh, six inches, this E is about five and a half, the O is about six inches. All right, so let's do this one first. Let's grab the ends, everything for the N, and make the height, or the, um, yeah, the height, the height 11.5. So our biggest, our longest tab was this one, so making it a let, oh, hold on. 
Let me undo that for a second. For some reason, I thought it looked weird. Let's undo it. I somehow unlocked it. You wanna make sure that it's locked, okay? All right, so with it being locked, I'm gonna change this to 11.5. Okay, so at 11 and a half inches, my N, and let's, un you know what we should do is, let's get rid of all these little indicators. Those go along with the tabs. So you see where this has the triangle? That means this long piece goes right here. But to me, there's only so many places these can go. So I just get rid of all the indicators. So on the right hand side panel, just hit shift key and grab these three and delete and then go to the next set. These two, I'm gonna hit shift, still hit shift and delete those. And then grab these and delete these. Okay, so now that I've deleted everything, let's re-grab these and align bottom. All right, so with my tabs, these two being the tallest of my tabs, and these two look like they're identical. Um, at 11 and a half inches, my N is 6.5 inches. Okay, so six and a half inches. All right, so let's look at this one and let's change this to 11 and a half. Okay, so at 11 and a half, my O is 7.2. All right, so we're gonna need to change this because if you want your O to match your N, it looks like the N is probably gonna be the shortest. So you, you always have to go to the shortest one, okay? So let's look at the E's and see what we have here. All right, for the E's, um, we're gonna change the height to 11.5, okay. So in this case, the E is 7.2. So the O and the E, they match at 7.2 7 inches about, but this one, the N is six and a half inches. So if you wanna make this all of the same size, because you can't make the N any bigger because the N is already maxed out with this one being at 11 and a half inches, right? So the only thing that we can do to make it equal is to bring all our other letters to be the same height as the N, okay? So this is how you're gonna do it. To make sure it's exactly of the same height, 6.559, this is how we're gonna do it. Okay, so now we're going to go back and rotate these back to the way they were. So rotate it 90 degrees, and what you wanna make sure is, uh-oh, hold on. I don't know why design space has been glitching on me big time. All right, so you wanna make sure your tabs are all in a line, okay? And the reason is because now our O's, okay, here we go. Our O is gonna dictate the height. So what that means is we wanna make sure that the tabs for O is within this height, okay? So you wanna make sure your tabs are, are Ah, sorry. <laughs> you wanna make sure your tabs are within this height of the letter O, right? So the letter O is 7.2 inches, but we know we wanna make it 6.559. So we need to change this height to 6.559. Then now everything gets readjusted. So our O is 6.559, our N is 6.559, and our tabs have been readjusted to make sure that they fit within this, okay? All right, so now let's look at our E's. So I'm gonna scroll over for a second. Oops, hold on, let me see. Were you able to see that? Okay. So now with our E's, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna rotate these, the tabs, so 90 degrees. Okay, and this tab needs to be within the height of the letter E, right? So let's go back over here. My E's disappeared because design space is so glitchy right now. <laughs> I know they're here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, oh my gosh, hold on. I'm gonna grab my E's and my tabs, right? I know my E is, oh, see, let me grab that again. 
Do you see how this rectangle, it's actually higher than my E. And so that's telling me that my right now my height is actually not the height of the E because this tab is sticking above. So I need to make sure that my tabs are within the range of the E, right? So now I'm gonna grab the E and when, and you know this time, um, why is it still doing that? Probably because my two E's are unbalanced. So let's do this. Let's grab everything and do a line bottom. Okay, so here we go. So now our E is 7.252, right? Where are all my tabs? Okay, so all my tabs are here. So, sorry, let me scooch over. Okay, so we wanna grab all of both our E's and our tabs, right? And now we're gonna change this height to 6.559 so that our O, N, and E are all of the same height. Um, all right, so our tabs are all readjusted. That's how you do it. Now, the other way around it is, let's say in this case, the N was the shortest one, right? And now all my letters have disappeared. Uh, design space, I need to reboot. But the other thing that you could do is you could make the O a capital letter. So that one could have been, you know, what was it, 7.2. And then the N and the E, you can make those of the same height so that that way you maximized one letter and you didn't have to make everything so small. Um, or the other thing that you can do is this. So, oh man, I wish my things haven't disappeared. Um, let's see if it will reappear if I click on it. The other thing that you can do, this wastes a little bit more paper, okay, is we know that the N was the one that was driving the, the height, right? Because these two tabs were the longest out of all the letters. What you can do is instead, we can make these, this one, uh, rotate it to 45 degrees and know that you're gonna use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock but you're gonna put it diagonally. So that's gonna give you a little bit more height. So, because look, it went from 11.5 to our height being 9.177. So that is another option, but you are wasting paper. So what you wanna do when you do that is you want to, okay, so now this one, you also wanna make this 45 degrees, right? All right, so now I'm gonna grab my ends, for instance, and I'm going to first do bottom align or align bottom. Okay, so see how my height is now only 10.2? Oh, actually, no, it should be less. This one needs to be rotated as well. Because when I rotated it, our, the shortest piece of the tab is now our longest piece, right? So let's now grab all the components for N and do align bottom. Okay. So now my height is 9.457. So I'm gonna change the height to 11.5, okay? And now look, our N is now almost eight inches tall. But when you go to make it, this needs its own sheet, right? So instead of the three tabs fitting on one 12 by 12, you're now gonna need three 12 by 12 sheets just to do the tabs, if that makes sense. All right. I hope that helps you to resize your 3D letters. I will be doing more and I will try to work on another video where it's, you know, each time I do it, I feel like I'm a little bit more concise and it's a little bit easier to follow. So I apologize that there are still questions, but I, you know, I'll be doing more videos on this. Um, hopefully you were able to follow this. I will see you guys next time. Bye.